last to leave. Yeah, pretty much. Our homes. Because it's been raining for four days. My wife was ready. ready. Like this morning it had rained at six o'clock. Rained like crazy. She goes, well, it's already raining. You can go fishing. It's raining. It's been raining all day. It's going to keep raining. So she obviously was ready for me to go. And when Paul asked his wife, hey, can I go? She didn't even wait. No, I didn't, I didn't get the sentence. She says, yep. <laughs> like, wait a minute. tell her where he was going. You don't know where I'm going yet. Yes. I'm going to go to Bass Pro. She goes, okay. The answer is yes. Where are we going? And then I went to do something in the house. <laughs> and she goes, I thought you were already gone. <laughs> I said, no, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting my stuff ready. Well, I thought you'd already left. I was all excited. And then <laughs> another 10 minutes go by because Chris was going to pick me up at 10.30. Yeah. Well, first off, let me tell you what happened. Yeah. Chris says, you want to go? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, that sounds great. So what time? He says, 10.30. I said, okay. And then I asked him, I said, I said, okay, are you going to pick me up at 10.30? Do you want to come over to my house and pick me up at 10.30? and I didn't get no response. So then I said, or would it be better if I come to your house? And all I got was, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, no, what? And then I said, what, what do you mean, okay? I mean, are you gonna okay. pick me up or am I going to your house? Okay. Oh, so that was really confusing. So then he said he's picking me up or he's gonna pick me up at my house. So another 10 minutes go by. Straighten that up. And our office is has a window right at the, at the street. So Tony's working doing all her office stuff that she does every morning, balancing the checkbook and you know. That's what Tammy was doing. I, that's they're good women. They are smart. Stuff I don't want to do. And so I'm, I go in there and I'm looking out the window and she goes, Well what are you waiting for? <laughs> I said, well, I'm waiting for Chris to come get me. Oh it was like a little doll I'm looking like, out man. the window waiting on his He goes, <laughs> Well and then she says, Well you mean your date's not here yet? I said, go, go sideways. I, I said, it's just, I'm like, well, is he going to honk? Because if he honks, I'm really going to be mad. He needs to come in if he honks. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just going to wait and I'm going to. It's not a date anyway, I said. I said, we're just going to Bass Pro Shop. So we're going to Bass Pro Shop. I really have no, I have a gift, have some gift cards. Yeah, he does. That are burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah, it's to about help, an hour and 45 minute drive. What? Yeah, we've been driving. I didn't know it was that long. Yeah, Savannah. Oh my God. Jeez. You mean I'm gonna miss days of our lives? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You don't record it. Oh, I not today. It. Not today. I record it so I can see it, you know, like in the afternoon uh, after I take my nap. I didn't realize it was gonna be a three hour trip, but that's okay. We're here now. What difference does it make? <laughs> can I mowed the grass yesterday. I had about an hour and a half window of no rain. Mm. So I mowed the grass, trimmed the bushes, fed the bird. Okay, well, I don't know if y'all seen that, but every car, uh, I think even the Amish car I'm just going passed 75. Chris. 75. Yeah, but how did that horse get that fast? The rain is, and I'm, I'm in the least amount of hurry. Did you just say you, you went 85 in this Ford? I did. Okay. That's about the max, isn't it? Yeah, it goes, that that's it. It goes to 85. <laughs> and it starts vibrating. Yeah. Falls apart. Well, the Chevy and Ford thing, they could really take that too far. I'm going to... I'm not one of those. I'm going out on a limb and say there's not a lot of viewers that have Fords. I bet there is. If you have a Ford... F-150. Any kind of Ford. Okay, you know, why does okay. it have to be F-150? It's the number one truck in the United it States. It does, man. Oh, the, the Toyota Mini? What's it called? I had a Tacoma. Tacoma. I didn't have a ton. Now there's people with money. Well, it's people that have no money after after you buy it. I bought it because I lived in Indiana and where it snowed. And uh, all you northern folks that are watching, the, the three people from the north. Tennessee. <laughs> the Tennessee North folks. Carolina. Yeah. You Yankees. You all know what the snow is like. Up down here, mm, it's just snow. <laughs> we have no idea what it's snow. When you're no. going out there and you're thigh deep in snow, but you're still going to work, I would probably <laughs> fall over dead. 
That's... When I walked out in thigh deep snow, mm -hmm. you know, with my flip flops and shorts on. <laughs> you live in Georgia your whole life? Yeah, I've always lived in Georgia. Where else really? would you live? Well, that's true. Why would you go anywhere else? Uh, I don't know. I kind of lived everywhere, unfortunately. I've the worst, been to other places. The worst place I lived was in Turkey. Yeah, we could probably trash Turkey because who's going to be watching us? There ain't no Turks watching our us. Turks or. If you are, though, we love Turkey. Merahaba, Abba. We love <laughs> Turkey. Yeah. If there's any Turks watching, Merahaba, Abbi. We, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know if that's offensive or. Oh, it's, it's good morning, brother. I'm and probably going to have to. means how are you? We would get, we'd, Tony, my wife, would go down there and she loved turkey. She just, she just loved everything about it. Really? Oh, yes. She was crazy. Not, you know, not, she's not crazy, but she was just, to me, it was crazy that she loved turkey. I'm just going to edit. Yeah, you need to edit that. It's going to be like my wife, and then it's going to be, she's crazy. She's crazy. And then I'm going to go to the next year. So we'd go to the open market, and we would pick out all our fresh vegetables, fruits, I mean, everything. And our whole counter would be full. And it'd be like, well, we spent like $6. <laughs> and a lot, most people had maids because it'd be like, Twenty dollars a month for a maid. My yard guy was ten dollars a month. Wow! And I rode my bike to work. It was only maybe two miles, but it was always an adventure. You always have to go different directions because there's wild dogs there, and <laughs> <laughs> you'd always got to figure out where these dogs are. Yeah. At well, the deed is done. We have spent some money. That's pro shop. We didn't do anything, nothing weird happened while we were in there. There were a lot of people. It was pretty busy, really. I got me a bobber. Sorry. You got a bobber. I got a bobber. You got a bobber. We just, we just got all kinds of stuff. But, it's always fun to go. You could tell all those guys in there, they had this look on their face like they hadn't fished in three or four days. <laughs> it was a desperate, complete, total desperation. Some of them were taking the rides, they're pretending they're fishing. Yeah, it was it, was, it was a bunch of just lost guys. Guy was sitting in the boat. Crying. Crying. <laughs> I'm like, come on. I mean, it's, it's only been keep, four days. Let's get it together, people. It's just a sad bunch of guys oh. spending money for no, absolutely no reason. No reason. And, and it, oh, it was really bad. As, it took Chris five minutes to get in the parking spot. <laughs> I had a hard time. Well, I promise I wasn't going to say that. No, I, I, I got a little sideways. Got a little sideways. Got a little sideways with Paul. Mm -hmm. Got a little sideways in the parking spot. And it's just hard to... It's hard to keep it in between the lines. park for me. I'm just not yeah. a parker. I'm more of a driver. I mean, it was the truck out. was okay for him, but the guy next to him was not going to come out. I can't be responsible for what happens to other people. In their cars, and then, and then we had to stop to get gas. And oh. I thought, I thought Chris was going to get his butt kicked. Woo, we almost got none. Now there was some action. There was almost some action. Anyway, we're got to get some gas, and there was a little bit of a line, and there was a U-Haul truck kind of offset away from everybody, off to the right, off to the right, right? Like I don't, we we didn't know what she's doing. She, and Chris was going around her to go get some gas. And I don't know what she said, but her lips were moving pretty quick. I didn't see her at all. I would have never known at all. Oh, yeah. Chris didn't even see the truck. And I looked at her and I said, oh, were you waiting in line? And her lips, oh, my. I can't read lips, but I'm glad I couldn't read lips. Uh -huh. And so we backed out and went to another country. Now, we went to, a, we went around. We to went a, around and got in immediately. And got in immediately. While she still sat over there. Yeah. And then she pulled in. And when she got out, she still didn't look like she was in a good mood. So she was very unhappy. Yeah. An unhappy person. If if it turned worse, I was gonna get the GoPro out and watch Chris get beat up by a woman. So yeah. It's one of those go. things. Do you hit the woman <laughs> back <laughs> who's beating the crap out of you? Or do you say Just like, Hey, <laughs> you're a lady, I don't hit women. Woo! It no. was it was smashing. <laughs> And, and you would think we're gonna go fish tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna try. It's still raining rain or not. We're fishing. We're going for it. Yeah. 
Yes. That if we weren't making anything else, exactly. we would be making trailer parks. Yeah. I, I don't understand it. Where's our priorities in this country? I don't know. I can't see anything. You know, this is dangerous. I mean, we're right behind a semi and we're going Tristan's top speed going 40. 70. <laughs> I'm going to speed He's limit. going 70. You can't even see, Paul. You can't Why see. should I go fast? You're right. You should not go. I don't think you should be going this fast. Plus, I'm, <laughs> I have not noticed it. That's why it's there. It's been dry. Oh, look at that boat. That's not a fishing boat, though. That is not. That's a What's that say? The Dauntless. Dauntless. What does that mean? That means they're not afraid of anything. Dauntless? That's what that means? Yeah. And they're probably not because they're just flying past this truck going about They 90. are flying with a pull the boat going about 80, so I guess they are Dauntless. I'm Thanks, sorry. Chris, for inviting me. I appreciate you taking me to, to Bass Pro. Get me a bobber. Thanks very much. We just drove three hours to buy a. Uh, I got two bobbers. Dollar twenty nine cent float. Yep. That we could have got at Walmart down here. Our wives got a lot done with us being gone. Mm -hmm. Tammy, we called. We called Tammy, and she was like, "When are you gonna be home? I've been videoing all day." <laughs> She's like, "Getting all this stuff done." Look at my shirt. It says WTF. Where's the fish? So don't get any, nobody get their feelings hurt. The duck, where's the fish, WTF. I think that's what that lady was responding to. That was she was saying, where's the fish, I that think. Was, <laughs> that was <laughs> She was like, where's the fish? Where's the fish? So we were like, I, what fish? We that's exactly what she was fishing saying. today. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Maybe we'll call this, where's the fish? Where's the fish? It's